Hi, this is Pastor Kevin of Antioch Church in Springfield, Missouri. Thank you for watching this video. This is my message for Sunday, November 22nd, 2020. We are finishing up my series, Finding Joy in This Crazy 2020. Perhaps you've been doing the Thanksgiving challenge where you thank God every day for something different, maybe posting it on Facebook or your Instagram, something different each day that you're thankful for throughout uh, this month. You know, by November 22nd, the day 22, it can be hard coming up with something new every day that you're thankful for. I mean, after you, you, you have thanked God for, for your friends and family and health and nature and work and home and cars and clothes, you began to grab for things like, I'm thankful for peanut butter, or, or I'm, th I'm thankful for my, my favorite t-shirt, or I'm thankful for my remote control or whatever else. But if you had a bad day and things go wrong, that's when it's most difficult to say, Thank you. That's when it's, it's most difficult to say God is good. Some days go so wrong that you can't find anything to be happy about or thankful for. Case in point, Christian missionaries Paul and Silas in Acts, the 16th chapter. If you want to follow along in your Bible, we're turning to Acts chapter 16. In this story, the Apostle Paul and Silas, two Christian missionaries, were traveling through a town called Philippi. It says, one day as we were going down to the place of prayer, they were minding their own business, we met a slave girl who had a spirit that enabled her to tell the future. She earned a lot of money for her masters by telling fortunes. She was a fortune teller. She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God, and they have come to tell you how to be saved. She was saying that sarcastically. This went on day after day until Paul got so exasperated that he turned and said to the demon within her, I command you in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of her. And instantly it left her. Her master's hopes of wealth were now shattered. They were upset. So they grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them before the, the authorities at the marketplace. The whole city is in an uproar because of these Jews, they shouted to the city officials. They are teaching customs that are illegal for us Romans to practice. Now, was that true? No. Made up false allegations. Not the first time Christians were the victim of false allegations. Verse 22. A mob quickly formed against Paul and Silas, and the city officials ordered them stripped and beaten with wooden rods. Whoa, man. It says in verse 23, they were severely beaten, and then they were thrown into prison. The jailer was ordered to make sure they didn't escape. So the jailer put them into the inner dungeon and clamped their feet in the stocks. Wow. So two Christians were out on a mission trip, far from home, far from friends, with limited supplies. They were simply telling people about Jesus, helping people, doing good. They even helped a random stranger in the story, a girl to no longer be used by unscrupulous, unethical businessmen. So they helped her and a lot of people. And for that, they got 
lied about, arrested, beaten, and imprisoned, all because of false charges and doing good. Now, on top of that, most likely these two guys, Paul and Silas, most likely they were not married, they had no kids that we know of. So, overall, their status was no wives, no kids, no one to bail them out of prison, no lawyer, no help, no nothing. They were beaten and put in chains. Maybe some days, this is how you feel. Maybe some days you find yourself sitting at home, alone, lonely, or sitting in the doctor's office, waiting for test results. Fear and anxiety can be its own imprisonment. Sitting in the waiting room, next in line for surgery, or simply sitting at your kitchen table, looking at unpaid bills and not being sure how you're gonna get them paid. Debt can also be an imprisonment. But there's all kinds of chains to be in. There's all, all kinds of, of dark dungeons to be in. The, the darkness of depression, the darkness of isolation and loneliness, the darkness of stress, It can overwhelm you. So what did Paul and Silas do in Acts chapter 16? Did they sulk, pout, complain? Probably, I would, I'm sure you would too. But then in Acts 16 verse 25, it says, around midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were listening. Paul and Silas were singing praise to God. How great thou art, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. I imagine that the other prisoners were like, what are you guys singing about? Don't you know where you are? You're in prison. You're not getting out of here. Why are you singing? This is, this is ridiculous. You're being bizarre. And it was strange. Sounds kind of crazy. Two Christians beaten up, imprisoned, singing songs at midnight. Perhaps some, some of the other prisoners were saying, well, you guys shut up over there. Just be quiet. I'm trying to sleep. It's midnight, you know. But none of that deterred them. None of that discouraged them. They were praying and singing songs to God at midnight. Kind of weird, kind of crazy. I'm sure the other prisoners heckled them, ridiculed them. But this is the Christian life. Being a Christian means being different than everybody else. Being a Christian means responding to situations in different ways than others do. It's like Peter stepping out of a boat to walk on water. That sounds crazy. He did it. It's laying hands on the sick and hearing them say, the pain went away. And we've had that in this church. Speaking of this church, the, the, the Christian life is giving strangers food. It's giving children across the globe shoeboxes full of blessings for Christmas. This is the Christian life. And the, the Christian life is not waiting around for life to make you happy. Waiting around for people to make you feel joy. That isn't the Christian life. The Christian life is creating your own happiness. That's the title 
of this message today, creating your own happiness. We see it throughout the Bible. It's Daniel praying in the lion's den. It's Jonah praying where? In the belly of the whale or large fish. It's David speaking faith as he stared down Goliath, the giant. It's Moses raising up his staff in front of the Red Sea, trusting that God would do something to deliver them. That's the Christian life. When things are dark for you and nothing is going right, you have to create your own happiness. Maybe you've tried, like Paul and Silas, to do the right thing, work hard, help people, be a good Samaritan, go the extra mile for certain people. And maybe like Paul and Silas, maybe you feel shut down, ignored, neglected, beaten down by life. I'm talking about the exhausted woman who showers a few minutes longer to cry tears into the water. I'm referring to the one hiding at home in shame because he gave in to his addiction again. I'm talking about the woman who is so tired that, that she would give anything to feel like herself again. The child who cries in her room at bedtime while everyone else sleeps and no one hears the tears. The woman who desperately battles with self-confidence when trying to put on her favorite pair of jeans that just don't fit. When she's ordering takeout because she didn't have the energy or time to make dinner again this week. It's the husband who feels alone, even among friends with him. For all of you, if you can relate, the Lord wants you to know you're worth a lot. He sees what you do. You are important. You are enough. You are wonderful in his sight. You are loved, and you're going to make it. You are going to make it. The Apostle Paul and Silas made it. They made it. In Acts 16, when they prayed and sang songs to God, there was a massive earthquake. The prison doors flew open. You see, blessings happen spontaneously when you create your own happiness. When you get into what I like to call your joy zone or the joy vibe. And this is why the Apostle Paul, the same Apostle Paul wrote in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, give thanks in every circumstance. Why? For this is God's will for you. It is God's will for you and I to give thanks in all circumstances. Why all circumstances? Because when you're down and out, that's when you need blessings and miracles the most. When you're down and out and things are, things are crashing around you or you're, you're just living in a funk and you can't shake it, you can't get back to your old self again, that's when you need to do something to, to jar you back to sanity, to get you back on, on the joy vibe again. If we only give thanks to God and say, God is good, when things are good, then we lose out on blessings during the hard times. So give thanks in every circumstance especially your bad circumstances. 
You don't have to act like you're happy when you get bad news from the doctor or when you find out your nephew is having a hard time in school or when you find out a coworker has tested positive for COVID-19. You, you, you don't have to act happy. You're not happy. But you, you can still give thanks to God that he's with you, that he will never leave you or forsake you, that he is your rock, that he is your strength. That's what you can give thanks for in all circumstances. And when you praise God and you pray, even when you're desperate and lonely and discouraged or stressed out, that's when God begins to move because you're plugged in, you're connected. Your spiritual Wi-Fi is connected to the server, which is God. So when it comes to the Bible, when it says give thanks in all circumstances, are you going to do it? We're not blessed simply in the hearing of the word. We're blessed in the doing of the word, according to the Apostle James. You never know how God is going to come through for you. You never know where or how uh, the, the next blessing, the next breakthrough, the, the next miracle comes your way. In Acts 16, Paul and Silas could have never anticipated what happened. An earthquake and being released supernaturally from the prison doors. And the prison guard and his family got saved that day in that chapter. Before it happened, these two men, Paul and Silas, could have never expected God to, to release them to move in that way. The point is, you, you don't know always how things will work out. You don't know. Sometimes you do. Sometimes you don't. The main thing is things will work out for you. Things worked out for Paul and Silas, even though they couldn't see a way. God had the way. All they, Paul and Silas, had to do was get, get into their, their joy zone. Get busy praying and praising God, and God will handle the rest. God has a way for you. Just as sure as God had a way to give Paul and Silas their breakthrough. God's got a way for you that maybe you can't see right now. You're going to see it. It's going to come, but it takes you and I getting into our joy zone. Don't wait until life gets good before you begin to praise God, thank him, and say God is good. God is always good even when life is not good, but we have to Get, get plugged into God by getting into our joy vibe. When you're, when you're in the joy vibe, you're in God's tribe. When you're, when you're in the joy vibe, it's like you're turning the signal on your radio to God's frequency, if you will. We st even though we use cell phones and we have uh, downloads and all this, we still know about radios. You want to tune in to a certain station, you got to get on that frequency. And many Christians, they, 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 they want God's blessings, but they're not tuning in to God's frequency. The Apostle Paul wrote Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 7, while he was once again under arrest, this time house arrest. And when he was in house arrest, you know what he said in Philippians 4, verse 4? Rejoice in the Lord. How often? Always. And just to punctuate his teaching, he said, I will say it again, rejoice. We got to get this into our minds and hearts. Verse 5, let your gentleness be, be evident to all the Lord is near. The Lord is near. He's always around. His energy, his, his spirit is everywhere. He's omnipresent. But we have to tune in to his frequency. For how do you do it? Verse 6. Do not be anxious 
about anything, but in every situation, not some, not when you're feeling good, in every situation, by prayer and petition with, there's that word again, with thanksgiving. Give thanks with a grateful heart. Present your requests to God. A lot of people pray, they ask God for things, but they stay in the fear zone. They stay in the anxiety and the stress. Praising God is how you convert from your fear frequency to the faith frequency. It's time for you and I to tune in to the faith frequency. Try saying that five times real fast. I can't do it. But get into the faith frequency. Present your requests to God with thanksgiving. Verse 7, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. If I, were to, if I were to paraphrase what Paul said in verses 6 and 7, I would say, do not be anxious about what's happening in your life. God is near. He's all around you. Tune in to his frequency by praising him and praying and giving thanks and giving him your burdens and your prayer requests. When that happens, you will convert you will change from the fear frequency to the faith frequency. And you'll, you'll be on God's vibe, God's frequency, and you'll have his peace. His peace will guard your heart and mind. You'll be tuned in. You'll be plugged in and connected. You, you, you will have catched the wave of God's peace. It's been said, life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. And we're going through a storm right now in our society. It's called coronavirus pandemic. We can't pretend that the curve is flattened. We can't pretend that the cases are going down or that it only affects certain people. People of all ages, are getting it and unfortunately are dying from it. So you and I can afford to be negative, stressed, worried, and anxious until the storm passes. We have to learn to dance in the rain. So don't wait until life makes you happy. Don't wait until somebody calls you before you have joy. Don't wait until somebody makes you feel loved by a text message or an email. Or, or don't wait until you have so many Facebook likes on your post. Don't wait until the, the holidays make you happy. Rejoice in the Lord now. Present your, your requests to God with thanksgiving. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And that's when you will have gotten off the fear frequency. That's when you will have tuned into the faith frequency. And that's when you will have the peace of God. And that's when you're going to have miracles manifest. And that's when blessings happen spontaneously in your life. Amen. I hope you enjoyed this message. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. You know, in Acts 16, verses 30 and 31, when Paul and Silas were released from prison, the Roman guard asked Paul and Silas, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? That's, that's the most important question, the million dollar question. And Paul and Silas 
replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, along with everyone in your household. Hopefully, you're saved. If you're not, or you're not sure, now is the best time, today is the best day to get saved. If you want to take your first steps toward God and know that you know that you're saved, then please join me in this prayer. If you're already a Christian, then let this be a rededication to follow Christ. Pray after me. Dear God, I need you. I make Jesus my Savior. I will follow him as Lord. Thank you for eternal life. I will rejoice and give thanks in all circumstances. In Jesus' name, amen. If you would like to support Antioch Church, I encourage you to give your best financial gift on our website, which is www.antiochumc.info, or you can send in your check by snail mail to Antioch United Methodist Church, 3614 North State Highway H in Springfield, Missouri, 65803. If you have prayer requests or praise reports, please share them down below in the comment section. Thank you for watching. God bless.